It's just amazing. All these new restaurants open yeah. up and mm -hmm. you guys, we, we got to get cracking. There's I a lot know. of places we got to go. We're I getting know. behind. So many to go to, and, but I'm here for the mac and cheese. Oh, yeah. yes. That one might have to creep up the top of the list a little right. bit. And collard greens. I found until I, I didn't realize my love for collard greens until I moved to Central Georgia, because that's just not like a South Florida staple, right. you not. know? Yeah, but here it, it's it is. Good. Yeah. Get and it's good. in there seasoned up well. Oh, mm -hmm. man. Oh, that sounds fantastic. There's so many places to try. That Central Georgia Eats page we have on our website, the thing's getting pretty full. That list is getting long. All right, everyone. Well, we've seen some pretty impressive storms over the past several days. This wasn't from yesterday. This was actually from Tuesday. And Albert Brown took this in Peach County. Take a look at this. You could see the whole structure of the storm here. And here is that shelf cloud that always looks really ominous and almost spaceship like. This is really an impressive photo. So thank you for sending that in. And we have plenty more on our 13 WMAZ Weather Network page if you want to uh, post any photos there that you may take over the next several days because we will still have the chance for some thunderstorms, including the chance for maybe a strong storm or two. Speaking of, we did have a pretty stout storm roll through parts of Telfair County. Now just some lingering rain over towards the Hazelhurst area. So in southeastern Telfair County. Otherwise, we are nice and quiet for the start of the day. We look ahead to yes. The exact same setup today. We still have that stalled front to our north. Now, believe it or not, the National Hurricane Center is keeping an eye on this low. It is going to progress out over the Atlantic Ocean, and that's when it will have the potential to maybe develop, but it doesn't look like it's going to be any kind of issue for us. We are simply going to deal with all of that tropical Gulf moisture that is continuing to pump into our forecast area and is bringing us these unsettled and very hot and humid afternoons, and we'll do it all over again today. As we head towards 11 o'clock, notice temperatures are already going to feel like 90 degrees. So that feels like temperature is in yellow. The surface temperature is in white. Should stay mainly dry through the morning, but once we head past lunchtime, that's when we'll open up that window of opportunity for a few pop up scattered showers and storms. Some of which could, of course, carry those heavier downpours, gusty wind and frequent lightning. Notice that feels like temperature, though. It's going to feel closer to the triple digits. I think we're all going to head into the low 90s today. We still could have a couple of spots in the upper 80s, depending on where the rain sets up. But it is still, no matter which way you look at it, going to be very hot and humid. Now, as we head into tomorrow morning, quiet, low 70s. It'll feel more like the mid to upper 70s, though. Not going to be a comfortable start to your Friday. And as we head into the late morning hours, notice tomorrow is going to be warmer. It'll feel more like the mid 90s by 11 o'clock. So moral of the story for tomorrow, if you are going to be spending any kind of extended period of time outdoors, just be sure that you are staying plenty hydrated. And of course, just because we'll see sunshine over the next couple of days, be sure to wear your sunscreen as well. Very, very important in the summer months and all year round, really. As we head through the early afternoon, notice those feels like temperatures heading into the triple digits tomorrow, and all of us will experience low 90s with again that chance for afternoon and evening scattered showers and thunderstorms. One or two again could be on the strong side, but if you have any Friday night plans, just pack the umbrella just in case, but not going to be a washout for your Friday evening. Through the weekend, we look a little drier, about a 30% coverage of storms for Saturday, and then maybe just an isolated storm for the day on Sunday. Temperatures both days in the low 90s, but of course, naturally feeling warmer than that, closer to the triple digits when it comes to that feels like temperature. We'll continue to warm as we head into the start of next week, and we'll stay mainly dry for Sunday and Monday, mid 90s on the way by the start of next work week, and then we will be back in the low 90s by next Wednesday.